Okay, I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving weekend. I know I did. And speaking of giving, that is what this week's San Carlos TV video of the week is all about. Giving a home to wayward cats and dogs in San Carlos. Anyone who has lived in San Carlos knows there are an awful lot of stray animals out on the streets. I myself just adopted two more cats, which brings the grand total in our house to four. Now this man, George Gadsby, has proposed to do something about it, namely build an animal shelter here in San Carlos. I attended one of the meetings today at La Posada, where approximately 25 people showed up. George has been living in San Carlos for six years and was an active volunteer working with those who lost their homes in Hurricane Jimena. In 2009, I filmed George and other volunteers out in San Jose when they set up 48 shelter box tents in the aftermath of Jimena for those whose homes were completely destroyed in the flooding. And now it would seem he is up to good once again, this time hoping to provide more homes for the homeless, the homeless animals of San Carlos. A committee has been formed, a budget has been worked out, many pledges have been made, and several sites are currently being evaluated. I spoke with George briefly this morning. And what are you doing here today, George? I'm here to look at the possibility of putting together an animal shelter for San Carlos, see what's needed, what's wanted, and uh, what's available in terms of community volunteers and participation. Why did you decide to do this here in San Carlos? Uh, well, after the Hurricane Jimena, I started bringing dogs in. I found three in a culvert. I brought them in. Several people brought in litters that were uh, homeless and motherless at the point. And I think I took 12 dogs in and managed to get 12 dogs adopted. Uh, the facility that was here, unfortunately, had to shut down. It was, it was not a, a, a full shelter and uh, there is no shelter. The, the need is still there. We've got kittens that are dropped alongside the road in boxes or left out in the desert. We've got puppies that are left the same way. And uh, so it's a matter of bringing in those who can't take care of themselves and taking care of them. So please give George a call or drop him an email if you would like to get involved in the proposed animal shelter in San Carlos. It is a great cause and just another example of how the community of San Carlos can really pull together and try to improve the town in these very tough economic times. So thanks for watching. I'm Vince and con el favor de Dios, we hope to see you next week.